I was happy to be joined by Alex Petrangelo on the set with us now. Uh, congratulations on being to yet another Stanley Cup final. We were just talking uh, last segment about experience this time of year. You have it. A lot of your players in the dressing room have it. It matters, but where does it matter in the next couple of days? Well, I hate to say it, but this stuff too, right? It all matters. And family coming in and, you know, there's a, there's a lot of friends and everybody wants tickets and it can be a distraction. And I think the biggest thing for us is, as guys who have been there is, you know, just worry about what you got to worry about, you know, worry about your immediate family, I always say, and, and uh, take care of everybody. But, you know, enjoy the moment and just try and be as prepared as you can because I know you can get caught up in a lot of different stuff at this time of the year. Hey, you know what? people get caught up in a lot is pronouncing your last name. Yeah. You've, been around, you've been around a long yeah, time. Yeah. If one at pretty much every level, every situation, I feel like we should all have your name down pat. And I mean, how, has this always been like your entire life since you're a yeah. child? Like, I were you hearing Peter Angelo, P P Piet I, I can't even yeah. go over all of them. Yeah, I mean, can you take us to class here on it? It's Petrangelo. That's typically how you say it. But I actually get a kick out of it. You know, you go to somewhere, you give them your order your credit card or you pick something up and you don't know what's going to come out of their mouth so it's, it's incredible it's, man. yeah it's so we go with my wife's maiden uh, name last time some it's just easier it's just she's <laughs> cox so sometimes it's just easier to do that yeah that's how well petrangelo yeah. there we go there, there, we go. there we go um what has the experience been like this year you've obviously won the cup with st louis you're going to the final again does it feel different journey wise you know kind of as you reflect back to getting here compared to last time uh, uh the difference i think probably is just you know it took us what 12 years or 10 years with this pretty much the same core group of guys um, and we had gotten close a few times so it's a little bit different that aspect right. um, but the feeling is still the same it's it's that feeling of, of whether you've been on a team for a year or two years or 10 years of going through the, the regular season and you go through the playoffs and it's a grind and, and everybody knows that and to get to this point with that group of guys and 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 honestly it sounds cliche and the other guys are probably going to say it but we have we have a heck of a group of guys in that locker room and, and we really enjoy being around each other a lot of winning will do that. Yes. Yes. Uh, yep, yep, and I, yep. I think in some way, not, I didn't ever feel disrespected, but like we need to remind people that you guys had the best record in the Western Conference. I think like go heading into the playoffs, yeah. a lot of attention on Edmonton for what they had for Colorado returning champions, but you guys, you guys were the best team in the West, so we shouldn't be surprised to see you guys do this well. Well, I think like we missed the playoff last year. Um, we dealt with a lot last year, yeah. a lot of injuries. Um, at different times, key guys. So we felt like we still had a good group, and I never really felt like coming into the season, you know, people were wondering if we we're going to make the playoffs and all that. But not once did that ever go through my mind. And I know how good of a group we have from top to bottom. Um, and look, we had a great season. We yeah. had one heck of a year, um, and we carried that momentum into the playoffs. I mean, there's probably people who never thought we'd get to this point or get past Edmonton or whatever it may be. And was it perfect to get here? No, but we got a resilient group, and uh, here we are. I know you talked about the experience and how it helps in moments like this and taking care of your immediate family. Well, you had a, a very young family back when you were playing in the Cup Finals uh, in 2019. Now they're a little bit older. Are, are they able to appreciate an experience this time around? Oh, they know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. They, they fired uh, up? Oh, yeah. Well, look, the triplets got to sit in Stanley Cup. My youngest, Julia, didn't. So that's something that I... She's due. She's exactly. She wants her picture. Yeah. Um, they're right into it, though. They're yeah. right into the playoffs. I mean, I'll be making dinner, and they'll be watching a different game, and they'll wow. tell me who's scoring, like and oh, they're nice. five. So the only bad part about it is, like, days off, I want to get a break, and all they want to do is play <laughs> knee hockey and dad be goalie, <laughs> and so I don't really get a chance to get away from it anymore, but I guess it's something to complain about. It's your day off uh, calisthenics, limber up, playing a little yeah, mini, exactly. mini sticks. Yeah, I, I remember when we were doing this back in, uh, what was year one here? That was 2018. Uh, 18, thank you. 2018 finals. And I remember sitting there, and I was like, uh, this might be the greatest environment I've seen a hockey game. And the greatest finals is how loud this building was, this community. And so this organization making it four straight Western, or four out of six Western Conference finals, another Stanley Cup here. I'm, ex I'm assuming this is going to be even louder, crazy. Oh, how impressed were you? At, I know you played against Vegas. Yeah. But, like, you came here, you got to see it on the day-to-day. -day. Like, this is... This is a huge growing hockey market in the NHL, is it not? Well, if you look at, um, they always do the votes from the players. Vegas is always up there with, you know, best place to play and most fun and best atmosphere and all that. And I think what, what Bill's done and what the marketing department, everybody in the front office has done is really capitalize on, on what Vegas is. And 
um, if you go and watch our pregame show, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's really impressive. I've it's only, the only one in the league that people are like, oh, I'm going to go make sure I'm there exactly. in time to watch the pregame Right, stuff. exactly. And I think, you know, everything around here, they've done a good job of building, you know, the atmosphere outside the rink. And um, the reality is you get a lot of people that are from the city of Las Vegas, but you get a lot of people who are coming from outside too. And, and, and they come in and it's become another event to come see. You can only see so many shows and so many, you know, go to so many dinners it just gives people another option something to do and it's another source of entertainment and and uh and i certainly enjoy playing here you talked about your journey last year you had some injuries some challenges this year you guys have been more healthy but in goal you've been through a lot of different high quality goaltenders as a defensive leader on that team what's your messaging maybe to the decor or to the goaltenders regardless of who's in there as you guys have gone through several as unfortunately there have been some injuries along the way well, it's pretty simple is don't change anything, right? Right. I think our, our defensive structure has got us to this point. Obviously, we have some talent that can score, um, but there's a reason why we've had success regardless of who's in that. And, and they've all come in in a tough situation and played phenomenal, regardless of whether they hadn't played in, you know, two games or two months or whatever it is. So credit to them, credit to, uh, you know, Berkey for keeping them, you know, sharp and, and being ready. But for us as a group, it's, you know, we don't change anything. We keep our structure the way it is and um, they'll do their job and we'll do our job in front of them. All right, well, you mentioned Vegas and all the shows. The best show is going to be here, game one, Saturday night. We appreciate your time. Good luck the uh, rest of the series. Yeah, thanks.